Hey everyone, it is your host here, that is right, it is Team Alright. Now, how is everyone doing And this series edition? I am doing very, very well. Now, I have social media accounts, but don't worry, I'll discuss it later on in this video. So please, stand by. Thank you for understanding. Now, I want you guys and gals to sit back. Relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab something to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, this video will be strictly a link. You can read it, or just watch the video down below. It is your choice, not mine. Okay, now, once I make this video, and post it on YouTube. Don't get angry with me. This is just how I feel about this matter. You could get angry about what's going on with this issue. I don't give a darn. But don't get angry with me, please. I'm just the messaging boy. That's it. Now, let me start from the beginning. Not way in the beginning, but on this past money. Now, Cody Rhodes and Seth had an amazing segment. I don't know when did it happen on Raw, but it happened, okay? I loved it. And they had some great history in the making in these amazing matches. Now, I don't know if Cody Rhodes will face Seth. We don't know yet. We don't know crap. We just could guess him, you know? So. Brawl's over. Now, last night was Friday Night Smackdown. Now, Cody Rhodes need to make a decision if he's going to face Seth or continue the rivalry with Roman Reigns and finish his story once and for all. Now, my theory is this long-ass story should end it last year. It has been two years in the making already. What are you doing, W? Why are you stretching this long, long feud out? That's not necessary. Okay? This should end it at SummerSlam. I know that sounds silly, but hear me out. If you can't get the job done at WrestleMania 39, it should be a rematch at SummerSlam, but it never happened. I will book that way. And they let Cody Rhodes get the victory, but once again, it never happened. But whatever. So Cody Rhodes faced Brock Lesnar and blah, 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 blah. And that's the last time we saw Brock. And then, you know, what happened recently. So that's all I got to say. Now, so Cody Rhodes and then I think it was the opening show. No, actually, it was the end of the show because it's not that much time left because it ended at 9 o'clock my time. And then he said a few words, and then he said that blah, 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 and then be a bada bing, bada boom, The Rock came out. The Rock came out. The W feature Hall of Famer. Social media was very pissed off about this decision. Now, for me, I can't. You know, I'm, I'm happy he's back, The Rock. But I think W made a huge bad decision. It seemed like deja vu. Remember when Hulk Hogan screwed Bret Hart at WrestleMania 9 for the opportunity of the title against Yokozuna? It's like this. You know? I mean, I, I love The Rock. Great performer. But in this predicament, it should never happen. It should be Cody versus Roman. But it seemed like Cody Rhodes is going to hand over the story to The Rock and let Rock finish the story with Roman. Now they had a face to face, nothing happened, and the show ended. What kind of cliffhanger is that? What the hell? So, on the bonus, you can see the video down below. They didn't talk at all. And then Roman left, scout, scary coward, typical heel. And then The Rock said a few words, and then that ended it. What the hell? Why didn't I talk to your cousin on a bonus coverage 
on SmackDown when the TVs um, stopped rolling. That was a total fail. Okay, now I guess Corey Rhodes is going to take the other road and face Seth. So I don't know what's going to happen. He says he's going to face Roman, but not Amania. People were shocked. So I'm assuming it's going to happen at the Limited Chamber. I'm assuming. But nothing is confirmed, confirmed. We are just got to see how this thing plays out. Okay, just don't get upset, wrestling fans. It's just wrestling, okay? Okay? Now, I just realized the only reason they're doing this marquee matchup, huge money. And I know some of you are going to say in the comments, dude, the Core Roads and the Roman, they made a lot of money at WrestleMania 39. I agree. But The Rock versus Roman is money in the making, you know? You know what I'm saying? Now, this could be a huge fail, like the time Rock versus Lesnar. I'm sorry. Goldberg versus Lesnar. Is, you know, I messed up. I rest me at 20, and that match was dog crap. So hopefully, history does not repeat itself. Now, is it too late to have this kind of match? You tell me. Probably it is, because The Rock... Mess up the opportunity for Cody Rhodes to finish the story against his cousin, Roman. You know? Paul Heyman did not say nothing last night, right before the, the show ended. I don't know if they will continue this on Monday Night Raw. Or we'll just continue it again on Friday Night SmackDown. I don't know what's going to happen. But I do know they're going to have a press conference next Thursday, live in Las Vegas, Nevada. Probably about this match. I'll make it a confirm, confirm. You know, it'd be all over social media, you know, everywhere. On Peacock, and if you don't have Peacock, someone will stream it for you for free, you know? You know, like I said, I'm assuming, you know? So, unbelievable, you know? And I know a lot of you are pissed off with Triple H, but it's a business decision. You got to realize that it's a money maker because I guess all that hard work they did for Core Roads, the storyline, is out the window. And this is not the first time they did a huge monkey wrench. And probably it will never be the last. Hopefully, Cody Rhodes finishes long ass story. Two years in the making. So what's going to happen? Cody Rhodes is going to finish his long ass story line with Roman. What, three years in the making? That is BS. Actually, it should never come down to two. Like I said, it should only come down to one. But... Whatever. They like to milk the storyline. That's all I got to say. I mean, I like Cody. Don't get me wrong. But The Rock is a flipping moneymaker. He is. More than Cody Rhodes. And you can see that Cody Rhodes, when he left, um, when he, when he left the ring, he was very, very sad and depressed. You could just tell. Or maybe he's playing the part. I don't know. You can't really tell, tell, but this is a huge dagger for all the Cody Rhodes fans. I'm not ripping to any Cody Rhodes fans, but this sucks. And probably gonna say, why did they even why do I even come back to this company if they're gonna treat me like this? I should just go back to AEW, something like that. You know, hopefully I am wrong. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm still gonna watch Mania Night One or Night Two. I could care less. You know, I mean I do care. You know what I'm saying? But I know a lot of people are very pissed off. But once again, let's see how this storyline plans out. Just have patience. Now, I want you guys and gals to follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social media accounts will be down below for sure. Now, if you want to be part of the Rava show, that's fine. Again, if not, don't worry about it. See you guys tonight. Goodbye and peace out.